USB-C, two USB-A's, audio jack, power port, heat sink with some vents, heat sink with some vents, HDMI display port for USB 3.0's vents, this is the LAN, it says don't connect it if you want to set it up quicker, power port, and we got some vents on the side as well. And on the bottom, looks like we have a little bit of a fan. We're going to start off with the boot sequence. So I'm going to time how long it takes for it to turn on. So I set it up on my home entertainment system. So this way I can watch movies, videos, and even watch videos off my network. I can also hook up an Xbox controller to this via USB-C and I can also play games on it as well. So it took under 20 seconds for it to start and while it's starting let me actually click on a browser just to see you know because sometimes the computers turn on but they're not really kind of fully on so let's go to three different websites so here it is basically so everything is going as smooth as possible. So everything's ready to go. So if I wanted to click on blue lock and so that part works fine. Obviously it would. And I also want to show you guys on the network. So I mapped my network drive. So I have my Synology NAS hooked up on my network. And I want to show you guys, by the way, the volume's at zero right now. But I want to show you guys that I'm literally playing files that, well, okay, this file was kind of small, but let's play a, of almost a 5 gig file. I could just jump around. It's very, very responsive. So the network card on this thing is really, really good. So let's even find a bigger file. Okay, there's an 8.5 gig file right here. So, oh, this was the time where the post office driver didn't see me. Not fun. But... See how responsive it is? It's incredibly responsive for something that's playing, playing over the network. So we'll do a speed test as well because this computer is hooked up with a two and a half gig network card. So as long as you have internet speeds of two and a half gigs or higher, you should be able to reach these, these speeds. So I, my internet speeds happen to be five gigs up and down. So I have no issues reaching the two and a half gigs. There's, there's some lag there. <laughs> I don't know what happened with speed test, but the speed was fast. So let's close this up. Let's kick off another one just to make sure. Okay, this is a different server. Last time it was Frontier. So this time it's Starry. Let's see how well this does. But generally speaking, the network interface card is fast and especially over the LAN as well, the local air network as you guys saw. And what I also want to do, because the benefit of having a computer here is I have a full-on computer, so I could go to Google, I could search for stuff, right? I could research, I could be, it's, it's a full-blown computer, so I can use it for anything I need to use it for, basically. And in addition to that, I know I can install Microsoft Word, Excel, and things of that nature and use that as well. And because they kind of advertise this as a mini gaming PC now, this is not a crazy gaming PC. If you want a crazy gaming PC, that's when you need to actually use, uh, basically get it like a dedicated one with a dedicated video card, like an RTX 5080 or something like that. But obviously that's gonna cost a lot more and take up a lot more space. Whereas this one, I can actually literally put it on the shelf on the in, in the entertainment system, just even close the cabinet and then I'm good to go. So I'm loading up Forza Horizon 4. The Forza games take a while to load, regardless with the Xbox or with the computer, they just take a while to load. So actually when it's done loading, then I'll go get the, actually let's just take the, take the controller right now. So I am hooked up via USB-C. I'm just using a normal Xbox controller. So start game. Maybe I have to do it with the keyboard initially. Interesting. This is working fine with the... Oh, there it is. Took a second. I was like, this was working fine. I was just testing this thing out. 
So don't expect crazy fast frame rates or crazy high um, in terms of graphics. This is a mini gaming PC. So it's just something small. It's, you know, it's, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, doesn't take up a whole lot of power, has a bunch of USB ports and everything. So I can use this again as a home entertainment system, surf the web and do a lot of that stuff, watch videos uh, directly from my network, uh, directly from my Synology NAS. And that's because the network card on this thing is actually pretty fast. So let's see how well, let's see how well this works. Okay, let's just click drive. We'll also try Forza Horizon 5 as well. So these are more graphic intensive games. I mean, the Horizon 4 came out a while ago, but it is a pretty graphic intensive game. So if you were, if I was playing something not as graphic intensive, it would do, it should fare better. But let's, let's see how well this one does. So I would say this is normal, you know, it's nothing crazy or anything like that, but at least it's not lagging. That's the important part. So, I mean, we're good to go here, basically. So, Forza Horizon 4 seems to be working just fine. Okay, so let's exit this game. Yes. Let's also try Forza Horizon 5. Few moments later. Now, if I do control shift escape, it'll take me to task manager. And then this is what you'll typically see. So this is an 11th gen Intel Core i9, 11900H. And then if you go to logical processors, this is how many logical processors it has, which is 16 at a base speed of 2.5 gigahertz. This is your level one, two, three cache, 32 gigs of memory, has a terabyte of SSD, and which is 954 gigabytes. We have the Ethernet, which is 2.5, and then we have the Intel UHD graphics card right here. I could go to leetcode.com and practice some code on here if I wanted to do that. And there's, I mean, you're, you're getting a full-blown computer. And that's kind of the beauty of this thing, that it takes very little space, a full-blown computer, and where you could play some games. Don't expect crazy fast you know, graphics or anything like that. So it's gonna be on just like the base, base graphics for the processor intensive games. If you're playing an old school game like Red Alert 2, this game, it should handle it just without issues because this is a super old game. This is actually a very fun game that I like. But we'll see how long this thing takes to load as well. So I'll just do skirmish and I'll just do launch game. So this will, give you guys an idea of how long it takes for this old school game to to launch construction complete new construction options building construction complete anyways you guys get the idea control terminated so the old school games you know, without any issues whatsoever, super fast to load. And again, this is the beauty of this thing that I could literally just, you know, put the, well, I'm just gonna unplug the Xbox controller. So literally close it, just stays in the entertainment center and then I'm good to go. I can use it with the full on keyboard and mouse and do what I need to do on the computer. So yeah, if I want to watch any entertainment or anything like that, I want to go to YouTube, check out one of my videos there. I can do that. I could fast forward. It's very responsive, as you guys saw earlier. Incredibly, incredibly responsive, basically. So there it is, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.